Hello though, welcome to Quackalope, and today we are bringing you a gameplay of PAX Premier 2nd Edition. Ever since my uh, Right Free, Wrong Free video here with Philip, we have had a reasonable amount of requests. We've had some, and we've had some really good feedback. We have had some good feedback. We've had a reasonable amount of requests for some gameplay of this because it's coming to Kickstarter. On March 10th, uh, 2020. Yeah, and you're probably backing your second copy of this. I assume you're gonna go ahead and um, get a- Well, my lovely bride, Marina Mishnevskaya, would probably not want me to spend more money, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably just gonna have this one. That's I might fair. back Joko when it comes out. You're one of the lucky ones that already has a copy of this. Uh, so, what we're gonna do in this video, I'm brand new to this game. Marina, I believe you've played twice. I've played twice, that's okay. all. And Philip, you're the, uh, you're the residential expert, so... Yeah, I've played about five or six times. We're gonna have a general, kind of, turn order walkthrough for our sake. And then we're gonna swing right into the game. You're right. gonna monitor our first turn or two, so that right. we can kind of get the flow and the pickup, and help you, the audience, see exactly how this game functions. We do have... One caveat we have to say at the beginning of this video, just because we made a mistake in the right. edit of the last one. So at the last at the last game, um, there's this rule called the overthrow rule, where I said is if it evokes, you lose all of the cards in your court of that particular region. A rule that commonly gets m mistaken. Mistaken. And and it's actually more draconian than the actual rules are, is because you only lose the political cards. Okay. So, so uh, it's a little bit. My mistake, I missed the word political in the rule. Uh, there have been plenty of games where I've played for years where I've gotten a rule wrong or two, so this is nothing new. I, but I appreciate the feedback. I just like the fact that we set it up as there's two rules in this game that get mistaken all the time. <laughs> and then we leaned into one of them that gets mistaken all the time. So, I mean, example, point proven. But for anyone watching this as a response to the right free, wrong free, we did want to make sure you didn't have to dig in those comments to get that update. Um, Phil, I'm gonna hand this over to you so Great. you can give us a run of what's going on in this game, sort of how a turn structure is, and then we can start playing. Right. And, and we're gonna win, right? I'm gonna win. I mean, I assume we're both already working against him. Uh, yeah, to that's start, a, yeah, then I'm gonna course. turn on you. Okay, great. <laughs> so this is, so in the 1800s, uh, the Afghan empire collapses. And during this time, the British were worried about the insurgency of the Russians coming from the north and Britain wanted to protect India, and the perfect place to make a stand was Pakistan. Russia was worried about the Brits coming up through India to get at some of the Russian territories that they were looking at, like the Crimea, so the Russians got involved. And of course, the local Afghans wanted to have self-rule. Uh, it was a complete disaster uh, on all fronts. Uh, lo you know, Lots of deaths, lots of hangings, lots of political intrigue. And this is what this game is, political intrigue. At the end of this game, the person who wins is the person who had the most influence with whichever faction. The, the Russians, which are yellow, and you can see the bears here. The British, which are the pink, and you can see the lions. Or the Afghans, which are the eagles here in green. So this game is a game of political intrigue where we don't actually care as players who wins, mm -hmm. but we want to have the most influence during the times of dominance checks. And, that, and you'll see that when that comes up and we won't explain it here. Uh, we'll see who has the most influence. If nobody, if nobody is, if not one faction is dominant, who has the most players in the field, as yep. it were. And, and you'll see that as well. So that's how this game is. Money is tight. Um, this is a game by Cole Worley, who is a PhD historian, and all of the artwork actually comes from artwork about that time uh, you should know that sometimes this is called the Great Game. The British tabloids called it the Great Game in the 1800s. Uh, it is not a game for the Afghan people, and that sort of actually set up the, a lot of the issues that we're dealing with Afghanistan right now. Mm. So, um, all of these cards are historically accurate. Um, one of these cards, I can't remember which, is actually uh, a fictional character, but everything else uh, makes is actually real. There are six provinces that we are dealing with in Afghanistan. Uh, Transcapia, Kabul, Punjab, Kandahar, Herat, and Persia. These are the different areas that we're going to try to control. These pieces can either be armies if they're standing up or mm -hmm. roads if they're lying down. Armies need roads to cross over, but they can only cross over their own roads. You'll notice that, and I'm going to just take off four here, if any one faction has more has four more on the board than any other faction, then they are considered dominant. So right now, 
neither Russia nor Britain has any uh, roads or armies on the board, therefore Afghanistan is dominant in its political structure. These tokens, and we will show you later, uh, represent whether you have control over a particular province. The way the game works is you have two actions. The first action you can do is buy a card. We start with no cards and those go into your hands. We start with a hand size of two. To get a card, you take it up and you have to pay the cost. So for instance, if I wanted to pick up uh, Hosea Harlan, I have to put one here to pick up Hosea Harlan and he goes into my hand. Now, you can obviously, since you have two actions, you can pick up the two cards. If I wanted to pick up uh, the Karakul sheep, I would need to pay, I still need to pay two, but there's no card here. So what I would do is I'd go to whatever one's next and then pick it up. Now, one thing to note is once you put a coin down on a card, you can no longer pick up that card. So I, for instance, if I wanted both of these cards, I could not go this and then take him to get my coin back. I would have to take him first, then put a buck on Abbas Mirza, and then I could take him. Now, next round, if there's still a coin on here, obviously I can get that coin back when I take the card. Um, there are certain times where we have to pay money, and you'll see that. I'm not gonna go through the actions here, but when you have to pay money to do an action, they actually go on the back cards. So uh, there'll be cards in the back that'll have money, there'll be cards in the front that have money. Okay. The second thing that you can do, and, I'm, and forgive me, I'm gonna just take these two cards. So action, uh, you have two actions. One is you can purchase. The second thing you can do is you can play a card. When you play a card from your hand, and, your, and it goes into your court. Your court starts, court size starts at three cards, plus uh, how many ever stars you have of the political cast. Now, obviously, hand size, as you can see here, it's two plus how many ever uh, blue stars are. So if I had, say, Harry Fash, Flashman out, I could have a hand size of three. Mm. When you play it, you do the actions. As we do it, you'll see the actions. If you look through the rightful for you, wrong for you, you can actually get a better, there's a more of a rule teach there. Um, but when I play Ranjit Singh, uh, I get to put out uh, two tokens onto Persia, I'm sorry, onto Punjab, which is over here, um, which are these guys, and I get to put an army into Punjab. So as you, um, so, so then you can play them. Now lastly, you still have two actions, the other thing that you can do, and I'm gonna just take these two cards just to show you very quickly. So let's say these are in my court. The other thing I can do is I can also play actions that exist on the bottom here. So uh, I can, uh, for Harry Fashman, if I had, so let's say for right now, I had a spy, whoops, I have to do it from the other end. It's always from this end. If I had a spy on Hosea Harlan, I could spend two bucks to assassinate him, it's called Petray, and I could take him. Okay. All right, and then this comes back here. But those two coins that I did, but remember, I'm using this action, and then these two coins would go here like we, we discussed earlier. However, because the suit is in political, which is up here, I can actually do that action for free I don't, I don't have to use one of my two actions. Because you get one free action based on where this per is. Per card. Per, per card. card. Okay. Yeah. So if I have these three cards, let's say I have these three cards in my in my court. The action rule is that the I would allow I'm allowed to do one free action per card if the suit matches the favored suit. Okay. So here you could gain a coin. And this one I could assassinate. You could go ahead and assassinate something. Right. I okay. can I can tax. It's a tax action. So that's that's how that works. Okay. All right. Can we talk about when the suit moves? What moves the suit? Sure. We can talk about that in a second. <clears throat> so when I so let's say uh, Jesse plays the bank card, you'll see down here. It's a little hard to see, but there's a blue uh, symbol here. That means the favorite suit will move here. Now, mostly when you move the suits, it it doesn't uh, really affect anything in the gameplay except when the military suit is in. in um, is in favor because then all of these purchase costs, where here it's one, two, three, four, or five rupee, goes up to two times. Okay. But you need one of these symbols to change it. Okay, so this symbol will change it to political, 
Uh, this symbol will, will change it to economic, and that's the only ones on the board at the moment. Okay. And well, then we always started few, political. And then there's a few symbols down here at the bottom. We have a reference sheet to give us a sense of it, but uh, basically we have a symbol with a sideways brick so, and a camel. Right. That's going to be... So very. So you have the impact icons, which are what happens when you first play a card. Yep. So you have the camel, which allows you to place a road of the color that you're loyal to. You have a, a rectangle, that one of these pieces that's in the shape of a gun. That's an army. So... A lot of these pieces are double use. So if one of these pieces is lying down, it's a road. If it's standing up, it's an army. You have this, which gives you two rupees from the bank, but if you lose that card, you have to pay it back or lose cards. Okay. When you have a cylinder on a what looks like a flying carpet here, it's actually a card. That allows you to play a spy on anybody's court, including your own, of someone of that same region. Notice each one of these cards has a region. That's very important. Uh, the cylinder with a little crown on it, uh, you put that actually on the player board and that becomes a tribe. If you have the most tribes in a region, you take this and you now have control. Mm -hmm. Now, anytime anybody wants to do anything in your region, they have to pay you a rupee. Yep. They have to bribe you per uh, tribe. Um, then the card base actions, you can build uh, either a army or a road, but it costs you two, four, or six. You can tax, you can either take the money from the market, or if you control a region, you can take it from someone else who has a card associated with that region. Uh, gift allows you to place one of your tokens here, here, and that gives you more influence points in case of a dominance check. A march for each, for each one of these flags, you can move one of your spies. Remember when I had a spy on Jesse's card? Mm -hmm. I can move it to another card. And it has to either go left or right, but it has to follow. So and it's always adjacent, right? It's always adjacent. Yep. Um, or you can move an army from one region to another over a road that is of the same color as that army. Betray, or I like to call assassinate, you pay two, and you can discard a card, any card, and it can be one of your own. And there are times you'll want to do that, uh, and it costs you two. Lastly, battle. Uh, at a single site, a region, or a court card, remove any combination of enemy tribes, roads, spies, or army equal to rank. You cannot remove more units than you have armies and spies in that battle. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, you will see a lot of shifting. We're all going to start in different places. So let's go ahead and determine who's going first, and then we'll figure out how to divvy out who chooses loyalty as well. Yeah. Let one Oop. drop. Yellow. All right. So I either get to play first or choose loyalty first. Is right, that correct? Right, right. Now, when I'm examining the board here, play first would mean I would get to take a card and potentially mm. play an action first. Mm. Is there a reason I might swing towards one of these loyalties over another? Well, so at this point, yeah. So certainly, you can see that there's a, um, you know, certainly prizes at the bottom here are pretty heavily British. Mm -hmm. You have two British, lo uh, actually three British loyalty lists. And you only have one um, Afghan loyalist. There's a bunch of uh, Russian prizes here, but there's no Russian patriots. Now, a prize is something that you take. Well, so when you when you so let's say um, this was on your card, I assassinate you. Yep. Oops, I should always do it from the number one. I'm always making this mistake. So I assassinate you. My spy goes back to my court, and then I can stick it in here. Once I do that, my loyalty, no matter what it is, automatically changes to Russia. And now I have a Russian prize here, and that's worth two influence. I have one. I always have the one influence for the loyalty that you are, and I'll have a second. That'll just increase it. Yeah. So no. there's a chance of getting. And it also it also allows you to change loyalty in case yeah. you need to change it at the last minute. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I think I will go ahead and play first. So I'll let. Let's see. If we're going this way, I'd let you select your loyalty first. Uh, okay. So you would be uh, second play. So All I'm right. first, second. Okay, fine. I think I'm gonna st I'm gonna start off as British. What the heck? I'm gonna go with the fl with whatever where there's the most. Okay. My turn. Yep. Russia. Mother Russia. Going Russia. Uh, yeah, I was I was leaning towards Russia as well. I'm Ooh. Gonna start. Okay, so nobody's going to Afghanistan. That's yeah. great. There's not a there's not a lot on the board right now, right? Yep. So you get to choose first. Okay. And I'm. Choosing to purchase, and then if I'd like, go ahead and play. Or you could choose, or you could purchase two. Go cards. ahead and purchase two. Mm -hmm. So, 
For instance, up here, if I was going to go ahead and take like one of these cards, this would allow me to put down a single sort of tribe thing. You'd put down one of your cylinders, which would become a tribe. And that would and be, be in Persia. In Persia. And it would allow you to put an army in Persia. And uh, since you are uh, Russian, it would allow you to, it would be a yellow uh, army. It'd be a yellow army. So I'd go ahead and start putting out what we need. This would do the same thing in Punjab. Right. Um, the potential action here would be a battle and it would be a tax, correct? Correct. Um, I, I think I'm gonna, I'm, I don't know if this is the right way to start, but I'm gonna go ahead and take, I can take this one for free. Yep. Go ahead and play this one down as well. It'll be my and, second action. And then you're done. Uh, but I do go ahead and resolve these right. actions. So one is coming out here as an army. Mm -hmm. This is going out here. And that means I do take. You take Persia and you are in control of Persia. I think I'm going to take Ranjit Singh. Okay. Okay, so uh, this allows me, Philip will help me if I need it. Are you playing it immediately? Um, I'm going to play it right now. Okay, so yes. you take two tribes. I take two tribes. And you put them in Punjab. And I put them on the Punjab. And you get, and you also put down an army in Punjab, so you also get that as well. And I put down a Russian army. In Punjab. Good. And I get that. Wow. Excellent. Spread the influence of Mother Russia. Wow, this is amazing. I thought you guys would be taking, putting down some... I guess not. Hmm. I can't tell if his uh, if his concern is is good or bad. Right. Good or I, bad I, for <laughs> either one of us. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now Punjab is. In, so that's interesting. I'm leaning good at the moment. He seems mildly. Uh, right. As long yeah. as he's annoy annoyed, we're doing like right. off balance just a bit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. All right. Now I'm concerned. You're wrong. Now I'm concerned. Yeah, <laughs> it's the tides have changed. All right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Josh Harlan. I'm sorry, Hosea Harlan, and then I'm gonna take. I'm gonna spend two, and I'm gonna buy these guys. I have no idea what he just did. Which one did you buy, Philip? <laughs> I bought George Hayward, and I bought Hosea Harlan. So if purchased. This is going to go ahead and, mm -hmm. what's this doing? If purchased, take three rupees from the bank. Riots in Persia, remove all tribes uh, and armies in Persia if discarded. discarded. Oh. How does this get discarded? So what happens is, if it's ever if it ever gets over here okay. and nobody takes it, it just falls off naturally. Okay. Interesting. Now, if one of us takes these cards, do we get that coin as Absolutely. well? Absolutely. Because it's a closed market, but you can yeah. take... Uh, well, it's, it's a sort of closed market. Sort of, yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this card mm -hmm. into my hand. So that's one action. Mm -hmm. I can go ahead and use my free action here, which I don't wanna forget about. So I will go ahead and do that to take mm -hmm. a coin. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I still have one more action that I could do. I could play this or I could go ahead and purchase something. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and take Harry as well. Sure. Uh, so I have these two cards in my hand. And you're done. Hand limits two, I'm done with my turn. Yep. Okay. I'm immediately seeing how much different sorts of uh, kind of actions and, and chaining and, mm -hmm. and mixed you can do. So here, if purchased, uh, the Pashtunwali value, values, Pash, Pashtunwali. Pashtunwali values, choose a suit to favor. All favored suits change impact icons are ignored until the next dominance check. Uh, and if discarded, this will go down to blue. Mm -hmm. I am going to pay. Mm -hmm. To pick up Punjab, mm -hmm. Aldred Pottinger. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this. Can I ask about my free action? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can I do? You, if you had a spy on a card, I you could, could betray I it. Could betray it. Mm -hmm. How do I put a spy on a card? You have to play uh, one of uh, uh, an action that has a one of these actions. A little, a little so, circle. So one of these. Yep, those would put spies on cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I bought this guy and. I'm going to take Transcaspia. Okay. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm taking this card. Now you'll notice that my hand size is still two. Yep. But that only counts towards at the end of the uh, at the end of so my. So you can go ahead and play to get something yeah. out of your hand. Yeah. So I'm going to play it immediately, and which allows me, since I am currently the British, it allows me to put out three roads uh, in Kandahar. Three roads, two roads. I'm sorry, two roads and an army. So I'm gonna do this. Okay. 
and I am done. Okay, the British are, uh, are imposing. Yeah, well, they want to protect India. <laughs> protect. Yeah. yeah, yes, of course. Good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I like the look of this one. I'm taking this one. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I do have that hand limit size as well. Mm -hmm. My court size is a little bit bigger because I have that one guy down. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, I'm going to play Crackle Sheep. Mm -hmm. uh, which are going Caracal. To, Caracal Sheep. I'm going to get all these names wrong. Which are going to put down two roads mm -hmm. uh, in Herat. Right. Um, so I can do a road here. Correct. Uh, and then... Can I only move one per road? Is there a reason you did both roads facing the same direction? Uh, I just... It's one per road, but... It's just how you played it down. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, an army has to move over a road, but they can do multiple... I mean, multiple armies can go over the same road. So I can do it like that, right? I can, yeah, of course. I can split it out. Mm -hmm. And then I still do get my free action. However, there is nothing currently to tax. Cor oh, that's correct. And none of us have Persia, so you can't tax anything. Yep. Okay. You could fight, but there's nothing to fight at the moment. Yep. You have no army there. I have the two cards in my hand. We'll move this down. Your turn. What are the stars underneath the... Oh, uh, this... So this means that your court size can now be four, because yep. it's three plus one. This means that when someone tries to tax you, uh, let's say they try to tax you three, three rupees, uh, that your first two, your first two rupees are protected. So okay. if you have more than two rupees, they can tax you. Okay. So my first two rupees are protected as well. Let's take Persia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you and have one more action. I have one more action, and I also have a limited hand size, so right. I must play a card. Or discard uh, it. Or you'll have to discard it at the end of your hand. Right. Which is just about now. Mm -hmm. um, I will play Persia. Okay. Now let me ask about, again... So, okay, so a couple things are going to happen here. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that's going to happen when you play it is your loyalty changes from Russia to Britain. Hmm. Sorry, Jesse. You're all alone in Russia now. Okay. The second thing is she puts out a British road in Persia. Okay. No, yeah, okay. in Persia. And so you can put it anywhere you want. But to play it, you're gonna have to pay him a, a coin. Right. Okay, so you're gonna have a road between <coughs> Persia and Transcapia. You have uh, to bribe him one coin. Taxes. Thank you. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, and you get two coins from the bank that should you lose that card, you will have to pay it back. If you can't, then you lose cards from your court. Right. And I do not have a spy anywhere. Right. So I cannot use this action. Right, so you're done. I'm hmm. done. So these move over. Now how do I go ahead and immediately trigger a, uh, a pull for Russia? <laughs> you can't, you need a dominance card out. I need one to come, yeah. And one has not come out. Okay. Well, I am going to take Prince Akbar Khan, uh, which is an amazing card. Uh, anybody have Kabul out? No, nobody has Kabul out. All right, so I'm going to play him immediately, which means we automatically go to military is now the favorite suit. Okay. All right. Uh, I get my. I am now no longer loyal to the British. I am now loyal to the Afghans. Mm. Okay. And I get to put two spies out on any Kabul card. Now, you notice that I'm the only one with it. They can go on your own cards. It's not a big deal. Um, he also gives a benefit that, uh, which is sort of the standing ability. After resolving a dominance check, which we'll see, I get to place two armies in the Kabul, but I get, to, I get to place one army in Kabul right now. And I am done. Okay. Does that not give you Dominance in Kabul. I don't have any tribes there. Oh, no tribes. You can't do it. No, no, no. I need a tribe. Okay. There's Anarchy. a dominance check. Yes, so there's a dominance check. Now, if a dominance check were to happen now, yeah. uh, there's no one uh, faction that has four more than any others. Okay. Right now, uh, Britain and uh, Russia are tied with Afghan in third, but nobody has a dominance of four pieces on the board. So you'd need four, you'd need four, four more than any other than than any other and then right now if the dominance check would happen 
because Marina and I both have two of our staff, as it were, mm -hmm. uh, in the field, we would be uh, we would we would uh, split that that bonus because there's not four more here. There's no true dominant faction here. So okay. you have to go to the so next it would go it would go off of this specifically. Yes. Interesting. And by the way, now that the military is in favor, all of these cost two. Now, more. can military destroy roads? Yes. So I could do an action here to destroy this road. Correct. Okay. And that would be one of your two actions because this is no longer the favorite suit. Yeah. So let me let me try this. Okay. Let me see if this works. Yep. Oh, it would have to be one of my two actions. Oh, you changed the favorite suit. I was thinking I could do that for free. I needed three actions to do I know I what you were do. thinking. That's why I changed the favorite suit. Uh... <laughs> Jesse, this is where the game really starts getting interesting <laughs> because I can mess with you. I can't mess with Marina at the moment. But I would also like to point out now to everybody that... But I had like a perfect teacher. thing that I could do. It, was, it would have been beautiful. And, and tears are flowing. Mm -hmm. um, not by <laughs> us. Not by Marina and, and myself. So we now have me, who's, uh, who's loyal to the Afghans. Jesse is lo uh, loyal to the Russians, and Marina, my beautiful wife, is loyal to the British. I thought I had a, I thought I had a good sequence of events there. I apparently do not. I would also like to point out that when you pull, when you own a region, when you rule a region, mm -hmm. you grant access to the build action in your region. Okay. Uh, special tax privileges and the uh, and the ability to extract bribes from other players. You still need a card that allows you to do it. Okay. But you now have access to either the build or the tax action of that region. So, I can play this down as one of my actions. Yes. It'll put it. three armies down. Uh-huh, into Transcaspia. Into, which one's trend? Up, Up here. here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can do a free action to go ahead and purchase my first gift down here, right? Which right. would be, I'd pay two. Right. Now, now where do you these go? So those go at the at the end here, at the bottom. One here and one here. Okay. And then that goes there. Now, understand that if your loyalties change from Russia, sure. you lose the gift. I'm going to lose the gift, yep. Um, and then the next thing that I can do, I'm going to go ahead and spend one, two. No, nope. it's, tw it's twice because of this. It's two more than that? Yep. Okay. So is it four total? Yep. So four total to pick up this. Yep. Uh, which will give me three from the bank. Right. One, two, three. And this just goes ahead and... So what we what I like to do is just put it underneath here. Okay. And it goes, and then that's it. Yep, I just didn't want uh, either of you to have the opportunity to cycle that. Okay. And now it is Marina's turn. Hmm, everything's expensive to buy now. Yes. Um, rather... I think that's one of the reasons he did that. I'm, I'm money constrained. Um... Well, you can... Spend one action to grab a point off of here. Right, assuming I want any of those. I would also like to point out now that my hand size is four. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. I would like to... Yeah, I think I'm going to go towards intelligence. Let's do that. This one here? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, I just slide I that underneath that. your board there. Yep. Okay. Just to show that you picked it up. That's one move, and I will play Ed Eldred Pottinger, which uh, allows me to place two spies, spies down on Punjab. On Punjab. Uh, Does anyone have Punjab? We do not. No, it'll be that one. Okay, be on your but you're card. allowed to move spies later on if yes. you have a card to do that. So yeah. let's put two guys on here, and um, it will not change that because of this purchase card. Right. It will not. Okay. And you're still British, and so now Marina has um, f three influence with the British, and I have one influence with the Af I have two influence with the Af Afghanistan, and you have only one with. Um, Russia. And we don't currently have a four split, so right. That's it's, uh, it's not enough for it to swing right. in Russia's favor just off the board alone here, Correct. right? Okay. Correct. Interesting. So if a Dominus check happened now, would it be Marina that would score for this? She would score She would score uh, three points, I would, and you and I would score nothing. Yeah, because it'd be the British that would, right. because it's based off of what she has out. Correct. Okay. You know, as soon as you have a four difference, yes. everything changes. Yes. 
I am going to buy this guy. Okay. Um, I'm going to play him immediately. Uh, which means I get to pull out two Af Gan Afghan and two Kandahar. I'm going to put one here. Put one there. Hmm. And um, I do have a free act. I would have it. But uh, I have nothing really. You're not able to go to battle. I'm not really able to go to battle. And I am done. Okay. Cycle these down. Uh, riots in Kabul or a national building. Uh, if purchased, place twice as many blocks when you take a building action until the next Dominus check, or riots in Kabul, remove all tribes and armies in Kabul. That's not good for me. <laughs> that, is not, that is not good for you. Okay. So, like, for instance, I could not take and play his card because my allegiance would then need to switch to Afghan, which would be, in terms of where I'm invested right now... Yes, that would be bad. Would be bad. Yes. There have not been very many Russian... Loyalists, though, no. pop out. I don't believe there's been any. I, at there the has moment. not been any. Hmm. Because I've been looking. Yeah. <laughs> so, what makes the most sense for me? This allows you to, that symbol there allows you to build. So, you can place blocks. Yeah, you're yeah. paying coin to play blocks down, right? Mm hmm. In areas that you rule. Would that only be the Persian area for me at the moment? Correct. Okay. Also allows me to do an assassination action. Phil, tell me if I'm doing this right. This is what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna play down my... Now remember, your max... Oh no, your... Is uh, currently four. It's four, right, right. Yep. So I'm playing down uh, Harry Flashman. So you get to put down a coin, uh, something on Punjab. You, uh, she owns Punjab. It's on a card though, she, right? But she still has control over it. So you have to pay her a bribe of two. So I'd pay her a bribe to put put someone down, put a spy down. On her card. On her or, card. Or, or on your own, or, yeah. Okay. So I'm paying two to put a spy down on her Punjab card here. Right. That now, Punjab card. Yeah, now when you do battle, you will remove one. Um, actually, you know, you can just assassinate. That's it. what I was going to say. So I have an assassinate action here, mm -hmm. and I can do, because of our... Mm -hmm. This here, I can do a free assassinate action. But he just put it down. Does he have a free action immediately? I do. Yeah. We checked that last okay. time. Okay. So I'd pay two more. So put one here, one here. One here, one here, to go ahead and assassinate over here. Right. So uh, you get yours back. She gets hers back. She loses these two because this is the one political card that she has in Punjab. Mm -hmm. This okay. gets discarded. Put it down. And uh, you have one more action. So I did my one action, I played for an action, and now I'm out of coin, which means I cannot go ahead and buy more of these. But she's reset, which means if we went to a Dominus check now, she wouldn't have the advantage, is that correct? That's correct, you and I would tie tie for it and we would get two points Because they're both at two. Mm -hmm. um, all right, that's what I was mainly concerned about. Now I could do an action, would this give me two, would this take two taxes? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna take one from each. Each of these here. Okay. All right, I've at least held off you scoring points immediately. I don't know if that was the best play, but I, I did something. All right, it's your turn. <laughs> it's Sorry always about that. the best. <laughs> don't apologize. This but... is the type of game. Remember when we said in the, is it right for you or wrong for you? There are going to be times where you're going to be uh, hurting yeah. your neighbors. And, and don't apologize. <laughs> yep. Now, can the card I play increase my court size the moment I play it down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And can I cycle any cards I want? Yeah. So if I want you to take get rid both yeah. of these cards, but, mm -hmm. I would take this one. Right. And then you would pay one here. Mm -hmm. And one here to take that one. The Bukharan Jews just because. Yes, I know. Just because. All right. So, uh, disregard for customs. If discarded, ignore all bribes until the next Dominus check. And then if purchased courtly manners, you may choose to not pay bribes until the next Dominus check. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. We're getting very close to a Dominus check being available as well. Yes, yes we that are. That is very unfortunate for some of us. All right. I am. 
What did he just discover? <laughs> well, I don't like that laugh. <laughs> so I'm going to play Punjab. Which does increase your, increase your court size so you can play it. I can, I can Well, I, I can still play it, then I have to remove one. You'd have to one. remove one, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to play Punjab. Um, this... Uh, so, uh, this allows me to take one of these guys, mm -hmm. and I can put it on anybody in Punjab, since no one is ruling Punjab. I have a Punjab. I don't have to do this. And then I'm going to spend two coins. Taking two the dominance, dominance check. check. So this is the first dominance check, and we're going to go through that. Um, so, the first thing that happens is, is any one of these uh, factions in control? No, I'm close. But you're close, but no yeah. cigar. So the second thing is, if there's a failure in a dominance check, then we go to who have the most cylinders out. I have three. Jesse has two. And I have Marina none. has none. Mm -hmm. So black, black Bart goes up three. Jesse goes up by one. Marina stays put. And what is now good? And now we say, is there anybody on this board that has a four-point lead over the next player? There isn't. I have a two-point lead over Jesse, mm -hmm. which is awesome. So that ends the, that ends it. But what's really nice is I have this little card, Prince Akbar Khan. After resolving a dominance check, place two Afghani armies in Kabul. Great. And oh, and by the way, uh, did I put my guy in Punjab? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It should no, not have been a spot. It yeah, what? it's not spy. I'm sorry. That was a mistake. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's right here. Which will give you. Yep. Okay. And does anything else on the board change? Nope. If one faction had been dominant over another, all the pieces would come off it the board. It would reset. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's great. <laughs> Interesting. And I, I was able to I was able to delay you by uh, but I gave it to him. Yes. <laughs> oh, by you the way. You should also know in this game that Philip will win unless yeah. Banged up on it. Yeah. You know, this is not true. <laughs> no, one I, of the games I came in I dead totally last. I totally understand. I, I completely agree with you. I see where you're headed. <laughs> and I would also point out, since we've had the dominance check, this no longer applies. So this also gets discarded. And what about his card also? It's uh, just yeah, it's just three rupees. I mean, I, I, can, can, you I can, can discard, discard it. it. Yeah. It's just a trigger. I was mostly doing that to keep Persia from getting uh, wiped out from underneath. Me. Oh, you know what? I, um... Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. Hmm. I don't like what just happened. I like it a lot, actually. Much at all. <laughs> so hey, you got a point. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this card here, mm -hmm. the uh, bulk arsenic mine. Mm -hmm. Arsenic. Arsenic mine. Like I said, I will get every name wrong in this, both because. I don't know how to say them, and because I'm assuming they're, they're pronounced slightly different than what they are, so I'm like experimenting. Uh, and then I can do a free action here, so I can go ahead and pay four coins to place out another bribe here on Russia. Mm -hmm. And these coins will go, what is it, one, two, three, four? I, I am still going to take a battle action here. Okay, what are you getting rid of? Um, now, I could trigger, is this trigger any of my, any of these? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take a battle action to attack okay, this road, road here take it off. That's to go ahead and take that off. Okay. Um, and then that's my turn. Yeah, that's your turn. And you have a quart size. You can have a quart size of four, and you're yep. good. All right, Marina, your turn. Let's move the cards. Yep. Oh, Remember, sorry. gang up on him. That's what we just, just previously oh, come discussed. Come on, guys. What? Maybe. <laughs> Remember that one time, that two-player game where you really wanted to murder him? No, it was this, a four-player game. This can be the game where we murder him. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. No. You know, it'd probably be good for views. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Philip Millman, baseball highlights champion 2045, cries, cries. on camera. Although, although all your fans would be like, uh, yeah, they would not be happy. With no, you. they'd be upset with me. They'd be like, how dare you make, how dare you make the sweetheart cry? I am going to play the Bukharan Jews. Okay. okay. And that gives me money, thank God. And Another one of those you have to pay back if you lose, though. Yep. Oh, well, let me leave it on the card, then. You're right. Should you leave it on the card? Just it's, just, it's, it's just easy. It's, it's I mean, I can easy. use them so you can off pay attention. the card. Yeah. And it's if, if you use them, though, you know you're taking that money. Yes. Right. Gotcha. 
It, it's just, it, just it's not me. in the rule book. No, it's just something I'd like I to do. I think that to, makes sense, yeah. To yeah. keep And that's something it. she came with that Marina came up with and that I followed too, because I think it's a brilliant. Mm. All right, so I am uh, I can put a spy on a card. Yeah, on Transcaspia, so you can do it either on your card or on Jesse's European cannons. Mm. Not that it really, I mean, but it allows you to move it if you want to. Seems may, unnecessary. May I just say something? Mm -hmm. Okay, since we're on political, I can use this to a free can. action to assassinate him. Yes, that will cost you two coins. That will cost me two coins. But that'll give me uh, a British, a British, which I would love to do. Ooh! And here are my two coins. Uh, so when you assassinate, they go here and here. And unnecessary. So that gets discarded. Yeah. Uh, right. Then you're taking it as a gift. And look at that. Oh, she's gonna go all in on the Brits. She's oh. leaning into him now. Oh, you change your allegiances. You lose. No. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> or, or maybe I will. I mean, here's the thing. I can say thank you so much for opening up a slot for me to... You're welcome. Yeah, I appreciate that. You were looking out for me. <sighs> wow, this is very interesting. There's not another Dominance card out right now, though, so... No, there's at not. At this point, we're not driving a check. We're just kind of positioning for whatever might happen Right, but next. the Dominance checks, once they start happening, which they did, they're... The They'll cards, start coming quicker. They're going to yeah. start coming quicker. Oh, How boy. many are in this deck again? There are four dominance four checks. Four total. So we've already been through maybe, I don't know, a little over a quarter of the deck. Yeah. And so but the, but they're, they're loaded. They're not loaded in the front. So. They're lo Yeah. All right. I'm going to pull up the Herat Pass. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to immediately play it. Okay, which means at the end you will need to get rid of one of your court. Um, right, I will need to get rid of one of my court, okay. which is fine. Um, I immediately get a road and an army in Herat. And this, oh, oh well, well, it is what it is. So I'm gonna put this here, and I'm gonna put a guy there. And he also has a lot of different things. And I'm gonna get rid of the Bolin Pass in Kandahar. Okay. On to me. Mm -hmm. Slide this down. Yep. Let's watch another dominance card come out here. Nope. Nope. Not quite. Not yet. <laughs> mm. Oh look, one of, one of the Rus Russians. Two on the board now. Yeah. I cannot, sadly, buy any of them. I forgot to look at, at who I could take for gifts though. If I assassinate people, that would have been. I still think. I still think trying to hold you back from. I don't know if it was the best play, but it helped. Now. If I assassinated like one of my own, if I played this guy and then assassinated him, would I still take the Russian gift? Yep, absolutely. Because okay. it's like having it's like having him in your inner circle, but then knowing that the Russians aren't fans of him or something like that is that kind of well. Thing? Yeah, I mean, this was the guys that held the the famous uh, Bolin Pass, and I would note that each one of these uh, cards has a historic context mm -hmm. about what these cards are. I do not, I don't like the position you've put me in here though because, all right, so first action, I'm gonna go ahead and take this here. Mm-hmm. So I get that coin. Mm-hmm. I really don't, I really don't love the spot I'm in. I'd like to be able to, I mean, whenever this deck's Dominus check is, I, I really wanna be able to position it in a way that but it's hard to do. Mm-hmm. What is your move action? What what allows you to march? The flag lets you march. Yep. Hmm. Kabul. Which one is Kabul? There's Kabul. Up there, there's a lot of Afghan armies there. Yes, there are. All right. So I will... I'm gonna go ahead and play a card down over here. Mm -hmm. In Kabul. Mm -hmm. Let's me put a road down in Kabul. Mm -hmm. uh, it also switches this to military, Oof. which isn't really what I wanted, but that's okay. okay. And that's, uh, and you bought it and you played your yeah, done. Yeah, I bought it and I played. And you're done. And I canceled out my own ability to do a bottom row action. Yep. <laughs> yes, you did. Good job, Jesse. I could have, however, done a bottom row before if I was able to take one, but I didn't really have a good position to take one either, so... May I ask a question? Sure. I'm looking at my Bukharan Jews, and it should have changed it to economic. 
when I put it down. This one did not because it was during a... Right, and you just played those? But this one, I think, was I, played I don't, after. I don't, I don't think so, but I don't remember. Okay. That's fine. It, it, it may be, the only difference would be I might have been able to take two extra coins, but Prior it's not, to that, it. yeah, not that big of a deal. All right, um, well, we'll go to the videotape and we'll put it on the... Uh... There's always there's always a rule or two wrong in the... Uh, the game plays more about showing how the game functions than specific, like, right and wrong actions every time. Okay, I'm going to take Kandahar. Okay. This is, wait, this is Baluchi Chiefs. Yes. And this is... This one's better. Okay. okay I'm going to take this. Mm -hmm. And I am going to play Transcaspia. Mm, look at you. With Nasrallah Khan, which allows me to play something in Transcaspia. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. And um, so you bought, you played, you can do a free action, but I don't think I you don't have the ability. I don't have the ability to take That's a free action. It. So that's it. Bring these down. Still no dominance. Okay. Hmm. Well, so it's my turn. I'm going to take Dost Muhammad, twice king of Afghan. I am going to play him, which immediately increases my court size to six, so I don't have to do anything. Yep. But I get to do one, two. I get to. A, oops, I'm only putting out one of these, sorry. So I put one of these into um, Kabul, which is, where's Kabul? Right here. Uh, I get to put two of these guys into Kabul. I am now running Kabul. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh, and I get to put a, a spy on a Kabul card. Hmm. Mm. Now this could be... That could be discarded, and if that gets discarded, all bribes uh, are ignored until next dominance check. So it gets discarded if it stays there for this round? And this coin goes go away. Back. Mm -hmm. But if taken, you may choose not to pay bribes. Until the next dominance check. Okay. All right. We're down in military. So military makes everything cost two? Yes. Twice as much as Twice as much, mm-hmm. Why in the world did I change it to military? That stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad you did, because it gave me Dost Muhammad. Mm. By the way, I'm sorry, Dost Muhammad actually was the, was the ruler until 1863. So he kind of was the winner at the end of it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have a court size of four, so I will have to get rid of one of my cards, but I'm gonna play this down in Harat, right? All right, so you're gonna place two armies. Two armies are going down in Harat. Mm -hmm. uh, I then, because I get a free action, you're gonna... I can do two military actions. Correct. And so both of those armies can destroy one, one two. Right. So that's... And so now you're leading the dominance. Yes. Now, was that both my military actions? One attack, two attack? Yes. Okay. Um. Because you had two stars on the card. Yeah. Okay. And then I can take one more action. That was my free action for the bottom of that card. Mm -hmm. Do I want to... No, I could do two more... I could do two more attacks down below there. I feel like... I feel like I'm really putting myself in a dangerous position, though, if I take two more pieces off. Although, there's a chance it just swings that way, and uh, I, I feel like you guys start attacking me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Being dominant always has that danger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to secure my dominance a little bit though. So I'm gonna do a second action. That will, uh, you can't do two actions on the same card. Can't so. do two actions, but I can do an action here. Yeah. Um, I will, sure. I will go ahead and do another action there to destroy one of these roads. That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I need to go ahead and discard something from my court size because my court limit. Uh, I can get rid of your card with the spy on it, correct? You can. That seems to be what it indicates. So, uh, this card is going to go away. It goes in the discard pile. Your spy is going to come back to you, and you don't get to take that favor or Boo. that reward. All right. Boo. Okay. On to you. Mm -hmm. 
I oh, seem to be. When does this get discarded? Oh, it, get, it now rolls off. This comes out of the market. So now, until the next dominance check, uh, there are no bribes. And okay. I'm just going to put it over here to remind us. Okay. I seem to have chosen my allegiance incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could always you could always switch. I could always switch. Which. Now, when you change allegiances, um, all the cards that are that mm -hmm. also go away as well. Just FYI. All the cards that what? Go all away? the Patriot cards go away as well. And I am now Russian. All right. All right. So you lose Punjab. Uh, I lose Persia oh, Persian and Punjab. Punjab. Uh, these have to go back to the bank. Yep. But I have them, so I do not lose any other cards. And the gift. And Correct. Yeah, the gift goes away. The well. gift goes away as well, which is fine because I don't need to pay off the British. Yeah, I don't hold on to things that are from. You know. I am Ruskaya at this point. Oh, there we are. And that was my that was that my was two actions, except I could attack something. Attack as, something as Russia. Okay. Also, this gives me uh, placement of a Russian army. I'm sorry. Right uh, in Transcaspia. Uh, placement of a Russian army in Transcaspia. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it allows me to place a spy, mm -hmm. which on tra something in Transcaspia. Uh, hmm. I do not believe there are any. No one so but be me. be on your own card. Okay, and I don't have to use him. Or I can get rid of him as well, but that's fine. Let's leave it on this. And... Um, so now I can use uh, any army in any one region to get rid of any mm -hmm. one. And so you could mainly beat up on, uh, on two of those roads there. Right. Um, I think at this point... Right, the only place I can go is either from here to here, from here to here. Well, no, you can only attack. You're not moving. You could destroy this road or this road. Right, that's or it. Or I, can, I cannot move. No, you're not moving. So that's it. Point. So I can destroy one of the British, British roads, roads. yeah. Which is not useful to me, actually. But let us do it anyway. Okay. Well, that bites. And I believe those are my two actions. Yep. I'm done. All right, take out a new card. Because you drew, played, and then did a free action. Yes, I did. Okay. And there's, um, the last... there's our dominance check. Okay. Well, fortunately, Jesse has no money, but that doesn't mean anything. And then if we pull it, because we are both Russian at this point, mm -hmm. the check would then come down to our influence down at the bottom for whoever gets the most and the least. Right. Right? That is correct. Okay. So... Right. I, I am kind of screwed. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to play him which changes me to Russia, because right now I don't see a way around it. Um, and I lose, which also allows me to put on w one of my guys onto a Transcaspia card. There's two down here. There are two down there. So I'm gonna place it here. Mm -hmm. And I am going to, I lose these, I lose these two cards, I lose this card. Mm -hmm. And I lose this card. Now, because I lose Punjab, yeah. um, I lose that as well, which sucks for me. And which one is that? That is... Punjab. That's circle one. Circle. circle. So I lose these two. Okay. Now, who, who has Kabul? This guy has Kabul for you over here. Yep. So we should just take care of him as well, I think. <laughs> if we can. All right, and that's it. Because I don't have any of uh, the right suits to take a free action. Okay. Down to me. We're still militaristic. Now, could I attack tribes with battle actions? Yes. You could. Yes. But it requires oh. you to move there. Yeah. And you don't have any moves. Which is going to be, yeah, that's the difficult part. <laughs> that's the... All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll take one action action to go ahead and take money off cards. Mm -hmm. Then I have to pay... So my, for my second action, I'm paying two here to go ahead and pick this card up. Right. Okay. Uh, mm. That's both my actions. I could do a free action down here. Um, um, I could do an attack if I wanted. You could get rid of this. That would be Yeah. It. 
you know, and I don't have any spies placed out. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to do it right now. I don't, I don't really see the, the difference at this point. So these will slide down. Mm -hmm. and the turn is on to you. What happens if the last army is placed? That's it. There's no more armies. You just have added all the people you can to the area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This game is very cool. <laughs> yes. I like it a lot. And because there's such a thick deck of cards, mm -hmm. we're using maybe 40% of them, so the replayability is enormous. I am going to take... Kandahar. Baluchi Chiefs. All right. Into my hand. Okay. And I'm going to... Because now we're all squabbling over the, the favor of the Russians. I don't right. like that you all were able to switch into my camp so easily. That's the game. That's part of the game. Mm -hmm. I've done such a nice job of building up the troops and encouraging them to ravage the land, and now you guys just switch right. allegiances. If I place this card, I get to place... A, sp a tribe. A tribe in Kandahar. Kandahar. Does anyone have a tribe in nope. Kandahar? No. I'll give you Kandahar. So that gives me Kandahar. And I also get to place a road. No, an army. An I army. apologize. It'll be an us. army. There we go. Okay. No, no, it has to be. Yeah, you put it in Kandahar. It yep. has to be in Kandahar, and yep. that is fine. And we are still military, so if I wanted to, I could battle and get yeah. rid of that England. The British, yeah. That's but fine. I'm not sure what that gives me, but let's do that. All right. It's free. It's free, so why not? Okay, so these move down. Hmm. Yeah, it is neat, because the game for a while for me was balancing this to see if I can trigger a dominance before you all had switched. Right. But now it's, because it's taken a while to get that next dominance out, it's now a balance of who does who has the most favor. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two, and I'm killing your Transcapia. Transcaspia. Yes, I'm getting rid of the Cossacks. Poor Cossacks. Now, because you're not British, you don't take that as a... Uh, I don't want to. Yeah. She, 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 if you did, you'd, you'd switch, switch allegiances? Yes, okay. which I really don't want to. I, I mean... Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> they could use your support. They, they probably could. I'm um, just trying to think what else I can do. The here. British are losing <laughs> by a mile. All right, I'm just going to take the Parat and the money, and here we okay. go. Okay. Henry Pottinger. Didn't I get him already? No, you got someone else. <laughs> someone else. <laughs> All right. So, I really wish, well, I wish a lot of things. Okay. On my turn, I'm going to, let's see here, play down this guy here in Kabul. He's gonna let me play three spies in Kabul locations. So I can play one here on myself. And because I, and because of the lack of bribes, he doesn't have to pay me anything. Ah, yes, because it would be a Kabul action. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's happened. Now, Mm -hmm. This lets me take an assassination action, mm -hmm. which is interesting to me. Mm -hmm. um, I need a coin to do it, though, right? Because, you need two coins. Yeah, so I'd need to gain another one. Or I could go ahead and start moving armies. Moving armies doesn't benefit me at all. So I'm going you to take... You could also move spies. I uh, could also move... Eh, I still think I'm going to leverage where I am right now. So I'm going to gain... I'm going to do a action here to gain another coin off the market. Okay. So I'll take this one. So that's my two actions. I played one and I did this, but I also have a free action because military. Right. Two is going to allow me to go ahead and assassinate that bear, which will remove your dominance in two of your locations. Wow, that hurts. Okay. All right, that's my turn. Since there's a dominance check coming up soon, Philip, I think we need to be, uh, gang up on <laughs> Jesse. That, that's... No, no, no. Remember, we had talked about this. Philip needs two people working against him to beat him in this game. Unless you're winning. Well, 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 well. well, well. I, winning's uh, quite, quite a stretch. All right. It hasn't even happened yet. Right. And <laughs> it is my turn. 
As far as the math goes, Philip is currently in an astounding lead, so. Okay. <laughs> so, I am going to... Oh, and I do have to get rid of a card oh, because my court card. size. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove my sheep. I think. Uh, no, I'm going to remove my Punjab guy. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play this card, which lets me build a road in Kandahar. I can't. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also changes it to... Political. Political. Um, I have one question. Um... What does the build allow me to do? So that allows you to build a road or a... It allows yeah, you to build so a... you're, you're paying two, four, or six to place one, two, or three blocks in any region you rule. And does that allow... Is that a gift thing or... I it's not. Do this. No, 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 no. The gift thing. is that build is going to be getting more of these out there and we're not in a position where that's right. even possible. It's not even possible. Okay. So I'm going to do that and I am going to buy... I will take Persia. Okay. Mm hmm And I will take Transcaspia. Okay. Okay. She has moved that Dominus check down quite a bit. Yeah. Interesting. It really is. I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot that I can do. All right, I'm going to take this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place it here. So it gives me a coin. I get to take one of these. I get to put it in Harat, which means I now control Harat. Yay me. And then, um, so that's two, but I, get, I do get a free action of either assassinating or moving a spy, which does not do me any good. Okay, your turn. Yep, I'm gonna cycle down. Now another dominance card could pop out here into the map. Too, if it right? does, uh, then it's an immediate dominance check. Okay, so if a second one pops out, it immediately triggers and, uh, it? Yes. Interesting. All right. I can do a free action to go ahead and take a coin. Yep. So we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Now, I could use one of my actions to go ahead and take Two coin. Two coin, and they can be from either location. Right, or you could take it from from anybody who has Kabul. So you, that doesn't matter. Currently, yeah. yeah it doesn't matter. And it's not Kabul, it would be Persia specifically. Oh, Persia, sorry, yeah. Uh, Which I, we don't have, and also I have, for example, a tax yeah, shelter. So. You'd be, you'd yeah, be, yeah, but you know, you could still it. It's only the first rupee. Right, it's the first rupee because it's only one star. But right, again, for, I'm not in Persia. Right. So. so I'm protected by uh, three rupees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to, so I did a free action. Uh, bribe action or gather money action and then one two mm -hmm. to go ahead and pull the dominance right so now what's going to happen is you've you've clearly won marina only has one influence i have two because of the patriot so jesse's going to go up five points to six i go up three points one two three so we're tied now mm. and third place gets one point if because she is loyal to the Russians. Yay. Now what happens is all these pieces come off the board. Okay. Okay. I didn't, I thought maybe I might get a little bit farther ahead than that from you. Well, the points are on the bottom here. I know, but I was hoping, I was hoping I'd be at least one point ahead of you <laughs> at the end of all that, that struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Because now the board's reset. Everything I've just worked for. Yep. Reset down and we are uh, we're back to squabbling. Yep. And now it's Marina's turn. And we all still have the allegiances that we just previously had, right? Yep. Okay. Until we change. Yes, yeah, so we're all Russian at the moment until we decide to switch. Yep. Now, I'm not in a bad position to switch other than the gifts that I've already purchased. The gifts would go back. Right. right. But other than that, like, I don't have a lot of, uh, 
I don't have a lot. I mean, I guess none of us really have a lot of people bought into Russia at the moment. Right. Interesting. Well, since I don't have anything bought into Russia, I am going to play the Chiefs. Changes it to economics. What does that do exactly? And I can put someone out on Herat. All right, so you would owe, you'd owe me a coin to do it. Okay. Oh, because this now goes away. Yep. And I am now Afghani. Look at you. I'm going for independence here. Okay. Um, again, what does the... You get a free action from one of these. From, from one, one of, of these. Those. And there's, it does not do anything else right. on the board. Okay. So I get a free action. I could buy a gift if I wanted to. Or I can build something. No, no you get a free action from this type of resource. Oh, from this type of research. Yeah. Okay. So I would get... You could take a coin from I the board. I can take a coin from the board. Uh, or from someone else in, what is it, Kandahar? It's Kandahar, but right now, who's in Kandahar? Just me? I believe it's just you, yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, because um, there's two of us, I no longer want to Right. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I placed, I have one more action before I even take my free action. All right, I'm gonna take a coin. Oh, we've been playing the ruling region wrong. Yes. How so? In order to take a ruler token, you must have at least one tribe and a plurality of ruling pieces. Um, tribes and loyal armies are also considered ruling pieces. All right, so never mind. It doesn't mind. matter right we're, now. We're, no, but I, but going forward. Uh, so if you put down something and, for instance, you're loyal to the Afghans and everything else is Russian, you can't take it because you don't have a plurality of ruling pieces. Okay. So we, we made a slight mistake, so apologies. I don't to, think it's really came into play. We haven't... Once. I can think of one situation where it's wrong. Okay. That's, that's okay. Okay. It's still my turn. <laughs> I'm going to take Transcaspia. Okay. Actually, what does this give me? I'm sorry. So Remove we, all armies from the Kabul. Either of us have these at the moment, then? Yeah, we do. Uh, because you have a plurality of ruling pieces. There's no other pieces on the board, so you have plurality. So I'm going to take this, and for a free action, I'm going to take this coin. Okay. Because I can't. All right, this rolls off. So nobody's purchased, everything is it's gone. And my hand size is three, so that's good. Now it's my turn. And battle if, or moves down to war if discarded, and then if purchased, your military cards are always considered favored until the next Dominus check. And I don't rule anything, and this is not great for me. There's no money on the board. What exactly do you get if you rule something? Like, why does that give you... It gives you anything? bribes, it gives you other things. Okay, but it doesn't count for dominance, no. anything. No. Okay. All right, I gotta think what I gotta do, and I don't have any really great options. Good. Good, right? Because I feel like if he had great options, then uh, <laughs> both of us would be at a disadvantage. So I feel like it's even as long as we're playing without knowing our options, <laughs> and he's playing without any great options. So we're we're doing okay. We're in a good position. Yeah. I'm going to take this card, and I'm going to take this card. It cost me a coin. Now I I have a hand size of three, so I have to get rid of a card. Mm-hmm. Now, you could take a free action down here, but I don't know that you really... There's, there's nothing for me to do. You could buy into Russia Deeper, but I don't know if that helps you. It really doesn't at this point. Um, and I'm going to get rid of... Uh, I'm going to get rid of uh, Mr. George Hayward. Okay. On to me. Yep. Let's pull these down. There's the next Ooh. Dominus check mm -hmm. already out on the board. All right. I'm going to take this card here, the Baluchi Smugglers. Mm. And I think I'm going to go ahead and... I wish there was more coins on the board. I'm going to go ahead and play this, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to give me two roads and an army. You're in Harat. All right, you all, uh, no, actually. Nope, because no one has, yep. Yep, no right. one has positioning there. Uh, 
Then I can do a free action, which could either be gain coins or go ahead and go to battle. Could I battle with your tribes specifically? Uh, yeah, theoretically, sure. You can battle with the tribes, but you have to be... Um, Don't you... No, at, at the site of the battle, remove any combination of tribes, spies, roads, or army equal to the acting card's rank. So, I have a battle two here. Right, so what you could do is get rid of these two. That's what Both I was asking. Yes. 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 Yeah, absolutely. I will go ahead and do that, which means you also lose the card associated with those tribes. Oh, uh, we weren't... Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah. Do we? Yep. Yeah. That sucks. That's this one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you, if I no longer have any uh, allegiances in my court, does that matter? No, it does not matter. It does not matter. No. Okay. It's only the change that matters. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. You slide down. Hmm. Oh, and I have to discard one from my court. Yep. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my sheep, I believe. Okay. Although, yeah, I feel like I need to be able to generate those coins. Um, I'll get rid of this one instead. Okay. I got rid of my warband. Okay. Although I kind of wanted to keep my warband. Ah, I like all my cards. <laughs> Your turn, Marina. Now you can see why, why I like this game. Mm -hmm. No, and it wasn't. It wasn't too hard to pick up or learn or anything like mm -hmm. that. I mean, it really, uh, it really does have a lot of depth and like it's very, very rewarding in the play. Mm -hmm. But there's not so much going on that I feel like I'm getting like AP or getting stuck in a decision. I'm instead trying to figure out this puzzle. Um, all right, I am going to play uh, Mir Murad Beg which lets me put a tribe in Transcaspian mm -hmm. and a spy on a Transcaspian. So I have one here and then be your own. And then it could be on your, and you have two of your own. Um, and I have two of my, I have three of my own actually. And I will I will put, mm -hmm. oh, I already have one on this. Okay, let's put it on yours then, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have, so that's one action. It's also gonna switch It also this. switches this to military. I have one more. Mm. Um, I am going to, I'm going to pick this guy up. Mm -hmm. And do I have any free actions? Where um, are we? We are military. We're on military. I have no one military. Oh, I have no that's free it. Actions. Dominance check. Immediately triggering a dominance and check. And this is the end of the game. She would get to. You have no free actions, though. Right. No so Jesse's actually going to win this game. So good, good job, Jesse. Now what's going to happen is. I'm not sure why, but I'm you, excited because that that's you're the only one with armies on the board. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Well, well, Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Well, what's going to happen is... Okay. The first thing is, are you... Uh, is there any dominance? There isn't. No. Yeah. Okay, since we've already played through So the second thing that's going to happen is we now go to spies on the board. Jesse and Marina are tied, so they will each get two points. However, I'm already high enough. And that's the end of the game, folks. Because four have already come out? Yeah, there's only four, and then you wipe them. Oh, so like when this one comes, it triggers uh, actually, it I think it, Yeah, I think it's actually you get double points, but because it's the last still, one. But it, still, like, they hit so each e other. So even still, uh, Jesse would. Jesse wins. Because you're ahead of me and we're tied. Yep. Nice. And that's it. And that's nice. the game, folks. I like this. I like it a lot. This is the first time I've had a chance to play it. We wanted to make sure we could get, and I'm sure there was a few kind of mistakes and things along the way, but yeah. we wanted to get this table before the Kickstarter launched in about three or four days. Right. Uh, so I appreciate you both like taking the time. 
Uh, for those of you that just skipped to the final thoughts, kind of first impressions, well, I'll, um, I'll let you two what's your, go. What's your sense um, of, of this game? I love this game. The particular thing that I love about it is the constant changing of allegiances and the backstabbing. Um, I don't generally like uh, the uh, screw your neighbor sure. type of game, but this one you feel like you are doing it to get ahead yourself, so mm. I, I feel better about it. So you're stepping on someone in order to lift right. It's up. not you know stepping on someone For just the sake to of do stepping it, on which them. I yeah. hate those kind of games. This isn't like that, and I enjoy it because you really are doing it to get yourself ahead and in a better position. And people know, like if you're doing something to hurt me, you like I, I assassinated one of your people. Absolutely. And it, it oh, took actually, you out of that I'm first sorry. One. I apologize. Oh, never mind. The dominance. I'm sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. I I just realized something. I made a mistake. Never mind. What was the mistake? So what I thought was, oh my god. Um, Marina wasn't uh, wasn't Russian, but because Russia doesn't have dominance, yeah, they, right. it's yeah. still it's still yeah. an even check. Sorry, down sorry about that. My brain. What just... I was saying though is the moment I, I assassinated one of your people, yes. which did give him position, but it delayed you from at least getting there, and that's what I was really focused on. Right. And you knew it wasn't me being mean; it was me just trying to leverage the position I had. Absolutely. Because right. you down here had had dominance at that point. Right. Yeah. And. Um, and in my mind, that's completely different than a take that kind of game. Than me just killing them for the sake of right. ruining your game. Right. Versus positioning myself. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. This, it's really nice. Now, I didn't switch. I stayed Russian the entire time. Uh, partially because I, you know, I always felt like I had a hold. But it was interesting to watch as I secured my position with Russia on the board up here. You both immediately went, oh yeah, Russia. We've always been fans of Russia. We love, love, love the Russians. We love the Russians. Absolutely. Our so, good friends, the Russians. We like, we, we drink vodka with them. Yeah. And so my, my game had to transition from securing the board presence, which I did a very good job of, to then making sure I had my positioning down here. Like I specifically took the Kabul card here to place out three spies so that I was like, I was like, oh, I don't trust the people that are coming into my courts. We're gonna go keep an eye on all of you. Right, and 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 quite frankly, my next set of cards, I had a lot of Harad cards where I would put out a lot of discs, uh. but I couldn't use them because the, the Dominus card. And you know, that's part of the game. There is a little bit of randomness which, which cards become available to yep. you at which time, but it doesn't take away from the game. And all the historical context, I really, really like. No, this was really lovely, and especially with you know, this is the, like I said, this is the first time I've played this. Um, playing with someone that was more experienced, playing with someone that was like kind of mid, like there's a nice breadth of range here. Uh, immediately was able to, you know, after the first round, I was able to start identifying the symbols, figuring out how the weight and kind of the, the positioning of the board went. Um, and then it just became like a nice kind of itch in the back of your brain for how this puzzle fits together and not a bunch of AP or anything like that. No, no, it, it's, it's a nice, and it plays, you know, very quickly. It plays yeah. under you know, an hour and a half or less. Um, I mean, sometimes two dominance cards comes out and boom, the game, you know, at the very end, the game ends. So, uh, I mean, I think this game plays very well at three. Uh, this is my, our first time playing it at three. Yes. I played it a few times at four and a few times at two. Yep. I uh, do not like it at two. I, I do, but it needs more experienced players at two. The comment section was interesting. There was a lot of people advocating for the solo mode. There was a lot of people advocating for the two player mode. And all we can speak towards is kind of our experience, right? right. Um, the, the situation you two ran into at two kind of soured you to that experience where That's you true. felt unable to act upon like what he was doing. Um, right, that game was over in about 15 yeah. minutes. 20 which, minutes, yeah. You know, <laughs> which is not not the way you want to play this game. But, you know, but I could, I could see with, with maybe more experienced people sitting down and playing a two-player where you both are really leveraging your position. I could see how that could be rewarding, you know? Yeah. Um, and then the solo, I think maybe I think maybe there's some issues working through the rulebook and running the system. Yeah. But I, what I've heard from the solo community is that if you take the time to do that, there is a rewarding solo game underneath it. It's not the same game as a higher player count. Most right. solo games are. Right. Um, but you know, there was some give and take there on the on the review. Um, this is nice. I'm really glad I had a chance to play this. I'm, of course you are. You won. <laughs> well, that's but true. But we enjoyed it, which is the mark of a good game. You no. lose and you enjoy it. Good game. Yep. Well, yeah. and I want to play it again. I'm also excited because <laughs> Jan owns this. And he's never played it, so I'm excited to be able to sit down, and I feel like I can sit down and teach him, yeah. like how to run this game as well, um, which is cool. So, for those of you that have watched this entire time, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, hopefully, you you kind of came over and checked from uh, either our right for you, wrong for you, or the fact that the Kickstarter is currently available. 
I know I'm getting my hands on this game. Um, I'm really excited to have an opportunity so quickly from discovering it to owning it. Because yep. I'm one of those that would have been looking at eBay for the $130, $140 <laughs> copies. Ooh. It's a lot, but if it's a game, <laughs> if it's a game that's worth having on the shelf, yes. then there's always that push and pull of how quickly do you want to own it. All that's going to be solved because I can put it in order in under a week and know that it's at least on the way. Yep. Um, so, thank you for joining us. Thank you both for coming and playing the oh, game. Oh, it's our pleasure. Uh, whatever you do, though, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. Absolutely. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. That was fun. That was a lot of fun.